But I was going to ask you specifically, because you are the kick-ass Alice, which yeah. is awesome in every way. You must appreciate that, too. Because oh, you guys fight together, yeah. which I loved. I love the fact that you guys are kicking ass as a pair. I know. It's so modern. I wish it was real. <laughs> you could go out again. <laughs> it Actually, could happen. do I? Yeah, I was going to say, like, what kind of dates do you want to go on, Sophie? <laughs> I have some questions for you. I love fighting. Yeah, just go and beat the hell out of people. <laughs> That's a good day. Jump on people's shoulders and twist their necks. That's yeah. everyone's favorite move, I think. Oh, I, Everyone loves yeah. it. I do that all the time. <laughs> but being a dancer, was that, I mean, it seems very balletic in some ways, so the way that you're kind of, yeah. you know, like, the way that you kind of snap someone's neck with your legs. Yeah. And, you know, so, I mean, was that good training? Was that helpful? Yeah, I think it was, actually. Um, coming from a dancing background, I, it's easier to pick up steps, because it is basically a dance routine, but you just yeah. have to hold a sword or punch someone at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and how do you like the choreography aspect of just having to, you know, like beat up a bunch of ninjas? And I absolutely love it, you know, and also, you know, coming from like a stage background, you're very kind of aware of your physicality and your body and like rhythms and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it really helps to, you know, fast track you into it because okay. although I didn't necessarily have that much specific uh, experience with this kind of fighting, mm -hmm. in a way I got into it quite quick. And so I love it. I can't wait to do some more fighting. Now are we going to see more sort of nuance for Cyrus? Because right now he seems just, seems like a perfect boyfriend, but he seems a little bit like we have only seen one layer. We've only seen that he loves Alice and he's really nice and just such a sweet guy, but I can't believe on Once Upon a Time in Wonderland that's ever going to be the whole story. No, absolutely not. I think what we're going to see in the first like episode two yeah. is a lot of his imprisonment and the darkness mm -hmm. and um, some, you know, quite intense stuff between him and his captors and, you know, his kind of sadness about, you know, being a slave essentially. It's, you know, I always thought being in a genie bottle would be kind of fun. No. It, it doesn't sound that way. <laughs> no. But, um, so, it's how exciting is it to be part of this particular show? I mean, were you aware of it before you got cat? Uh, not Wonderland once specifically, but Once Upon a Time. Yeah, I was aware of it, and uh, I'm totally excited to be a part of it. And it, working with Eddie and Adam is so much fun, and it's just such a great team. It's going to be rad. Can't wait. <laughs> exactly. I think pretty much everyone in the Comic-Con panel audience said the same thing. Oh. Good. I'm glad yes. it was received well. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.